I'm Dr. Marcella Nunez-Smith, and I'm the equity coordinator to the COVID-19 response team. I wanna thank you for inviting me to speak with you today. And more than that, I wanna thank you for the remarkable innovative work that Robin Hood does to fight against poverty, to fight for equity, and to spark the conscience of so many people, you know, in New York and across the country around these vital issues. You know better than anyone that racial and ethnic disparities in health access and care existed long before COVID-19 arrived on our shores. You know, and as the pandemic just continues to wrench those disparities even wider, you know the devastating consequences it will carry in our efforts to fight poverty and increase economic mobility. You know, we all have a moral obligation to reverse that tide. It's an obligation that rests with each one of us, but especially with our government. You know, that's why President Biden has made reducing health disparities a priority since his first day in office so that we can join you in meeting that responsibility. You know, the administration's task is to place equity where it belongs. That's at the start of every single conversation you know, and to make sure it runs through every avenue of our policy response and every choice we make. You know, there has never been a moment quite like this in government before. And that's because our country has never made health equity a true national priority before. We know from the data that the burden of COVID-19 is mirroring the burden of poverty, which often also follows along racial and ethnic lines. Black, Latino, and Indigenous Americans are dying at more than twice the rate of white Americans. We too often talk of these statistics without talking about the profound grief gap that we see in those communities. And of course, it is not a coincidence because we have long-standing inequities in our health system and in many of our systems, you know, lack of access to resources and care that has been across generations. You know, that's what's paved the way for this tragedy. When urban pollution is diverted to your neighborhood, raising the childhood asthma rate, you know, when nutritious, affordable food just isn't available at your local grocery store, raising the uncontrolled diabetes rate, you know, when the only jobs available to you are those that place you in harm's way every day in a deadly pandemic, it really is just brick by brick that we allow communities to be walled off from opportunity and walled into cycles of crisis. You know, the president, the vice president, they understand that reality. And that's why the president signed an executive order that creates the COVID-19 Health Equity Task Force which, you know, once its work is done, will provide specific recommendations addressing health inequities caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and recommendations for preventing such inequities in the future. You know, I have the privilege and the honor, humbled to be named chair of the task force, and we will launch later this week. Now, in addition to creating the task force, the administration is taking steps today that are focused on identifying and rooting out inequities and stopping them from cascading further through our hardest hit communities. The administration is taking actions that we know encourage equitable outcomes. We've begun this work to make sure vaccination is accessible to everyone who is eligible and who wants it. You know, eliminating all out-of-pocket costs for vaccines, ensuring that vaccination sites are convenient, accessible, located in the heart of communities, that need them the most. Importantly, working to ensure that transportation and paid time off are available to people who need it in order to get vaccinated. Working closely with states on their equity strategies, you know, providing technical assistance to help them get up to speed when needed, but also sharing those promising practices from states who are doing this well. You know, we have to push to gather and leverage data to ensure that our response is smart, equitable, targeted, you know, but in short, we have to break down these structural barriers. We have to meet people where they are. You know, we know vaccines represent our best path out of this pandemic into our new normal. And quite frankly, if we're going to get the job done, we need people in every community to learn about them. They have to be able to make thoughtful, informed choices. We need your voices in your communities, helping to build vaccine confidence, you know, ensuring that as we work to improve access, 
All the folks back home are ready to take advantage of the best of scientific discovery. Make no bones about it, the work ahead is not gonna be easy, but together we're gonna get this done. You know, we're gonna get this done for everyone. And in that spirit, I just wanna thank you for all that you do. I look forward to working with you, you know, to break down the walls of poverty and inequity right through the end of this crisis and in the rebuilding that will come. Thank you.